Hey everyone, Mr. Fritz here and featuring Waldo. Uh, today in this video we're going to talk about vector and parametric equations of a line on a plane. So let's figure out what this is about and uh, let's just jump right into this. And uh, I want to talk about my daughter, Eliana. Uh, a little while ago she was riding on this awesome motorcycle and she was just cruising on a rug. And you know it got me thinking, watching her go across this rug, got me thinking of math. And uh, I, I charted out her path, and I took out the stopwatch, and I started timing her motion, and I just created this awesome graph of her travel time. So uh, come with me on this journey of cruising on a rug, like my daughter, Eliana. Uh, what I have here is a picture of the rug. It's, um, it's about this big, and uh, it took her from um, about 24 seconds to get from this point in the rug all the way over to here. And before we kind of talk about the horizontal and vertical motion of this path here, I want you to think about uh, looking at this picture, which component looks like it has a faster rate of change. Uh, that is, which, which of these components, the horizontal or the vertical, looks like it's moving faster. Uh, am I moving faster vertically or am I moving faster horizontally? So pause this if you need to think about it. And, and let's, let's, um, let's see if you're right moving forward. So in order to chart which of these things are faster, the horizontal or vertical uh, velocities or speed, uh, what we need to do is we, let's graph both of these things. Let's graph the horizontal position versus time, and let's graph the vertical position versus time. And really, because what, what's going on here is I have a horizontal or an X movement that uh, she's making across the rug, and I also have over on the, um, on the left, let's see, uh, I don't think I'm gonna squeeze this in, but this is kind of a vertical or a Y movement, kind of going up and down. So she's kind of moving down and she's moving over. We want to chart both of those movements in both of those dimensions. So let's start off with uh, graphing movement with respect to time involving the horizontal position. So if I wanted to take, create a graph of this, let's just grab the information from here. Uh, I know that I go from time zero to time 24, so I'm going from here to here. And I'm starting horizontally at zero, that's my x. Uh, so it's starting right here. And then at 24 seconds, I wanna make it up to 72 feet. So 24 seconds, 72 is right here. So let's, uh, let's connect these dots with a line. And uh, let's make that red here. So this line represents the horizontal position across this rug given a certain time. So I can kind of use this this graph to kind of figure out, okay, well at 10 seconds, how far across the rug is Eliana? Or how far across the rug at 20 seconds is Eliana? And uh, that this is just giving me my left and right distance, nothing about my up or down or my vertical uh, position. Let's come up with an equation for this uh, using x and t. If x is our horizontal position and t is our time, uh, then what I'm doing here is I'm creating an equation where in the form, this is basically, it's a straight line, it's a linear equation. So let's call it x equals a plus bt. It's a little bit different notation than mx plus b, but really we still have a starting position and we still have our rate of change, uh, just like our slope-intercept form of an equation. And hopefully you can see here that the starting position is zero uh, so this is going to be 0 plus, and my rate is going to be uh, up 72 and over 24. So that's going to be 72 over 24, uh, and this is uh, inches per second. Um, it's a 72-inch uh, rug, and uh, that's 72 inches over 24 seconds and times my t. So uh, putting that all together, this is going to be x equals 74 divided by 2, uh, 24 rather, is 3. So x will equal 3t is is my equation with uh, a horizontal position x and a time in t or a time in seconds. That's just graphing left and right movement. Let's talk about the vertical movement up and down. We're going to use the same process. So uh, at, I'm going from 0 seconds to 24 seconds, but this time vertically I'm starting at 24 at time equals zero, and in 24 seconds, it brings me down to um, uh, brings me down to zero. So basically, what I want to do here is I want to connect these two points. I want to connect um, this starting point over to my 
landing point right here. And just like before, I want to graph, I want to make an equation of this using y and t. So again, let's follow the format y equals a plus b t, where a is my starting position, b is my rate of change. So uh, uh, this is going to be y equals, this time the starting point is uh, 24. So that's a 24. And my rate, this time it's going down uh, at a rate of 24 over 24. So this is down 24 over 24 t. And uh, if I simplify that, 24 over 24 is just 1, so y is going to equal 24 minus t. So here's my equation, just of my vertical position, and uh, for my given time. 